this movie, for anyone who hasn't seen it, and I don't want to spoil it, I highly recommend this movie. Uh, as much as it is about the murder of the notorious B.I.G., um, coming to light that the LAPD is involved, um, Russell Poole, it's his story. Yes. Uh, it, it really, really is a man's story to get the truth out there. Russell was discredited. And all things considered, he felt like a tortured soul. Because I mean, I, I can, I've never met the man, but I can only imagine he has all of these years on a force. And he is trying to do the right thing. He's being shut down by the powers that be. The narrative is put out there that he is on this wild goose chase. You coming into this film, did you have any preconceived notions about him? And at what point did you even start to say, whoa, he, he was right. He, his, his theories were right all along. So it's, it's pretty simple. I think I finally have a simple answer. <laughs> it, it started with a book and I was blown away by the book. But again, like most people, well, maybe that's not true, right? That's what they'll say. But then I flew to Colorado Springs and I met with Perry Sanders, the, the lawyer for the Wallace civil case. That led me, then I went up to Portland and I met with Randall, who was a friend of Russ Poole's and had written the book. And then I had, had spent an inordinate amount of time with Sergio in going through all the files. And by the time I went just through the end, that includes, you know, Miss Wallace and New York and Wayne. By the time I landed, though, with Sergio, and I had anything and everything that I was and was not supposed to see. And I wouldn't even say that publicly except for the fact that Sergio passed away. If Sergio were here, I gave my word. I never saw that. I remember looking at the Psycho Mike Robinson deposition. I was blown away. Now, this is, for those of you who don't know or don't believe me, look at what Psycho Mike Robinson is wearing in the deposition, in the movie. It's on the tape of Russ Poole Johnny playing it. What no one knows is that's exactly what he's wearing in the real deposition that's locked away. That's, I, that's how, I, to the T I was, I, I, the level of accuracy that I wanted, because when I was sitting with those files, Sergio told me Russ's work was spot on. When when Johnny's characters going into the police department, they're saying, you know, you you've been on 500 murder cases plus, and Fred Miller's like, he's like, your record is crazy. That was Russ Poole's record, spotless and impeccable. So to think he's not going to do that on this case, well, you're wrong. And he did. He did his job. I mean, he was a real hero in that regard. But um, sadly, his life didn't end up that way. And I think in his gut, that's why he instinctually wanted to be a part of telling a movie because, or having a movie be told, because he wanted to get the story out there. I don't think he ever knew or expected the grand landscape of making a Johnny Depp and Forrest Whitaker film. And, and that, that's heartbreaking. But in the same breath, this whole thing is a tra tragedy for the, for, for the world. Um, for the pools and for the Wallaces. So, um, you know, why, why should it be any different? But, you know, uh, you know, I try to take these negatives and turn them into positives. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.